Uh, in discussing the uh, 2020 bond issue for Clinton Public Schools, some of the selling points or, or, or some of the things we're really excited about what it does for Clinton Public Schools is one, uh, 39 new classrooms. Uh, it, plus it remodels all the other classrooms. So pre-K through eighth grade, every classroom will either be new as in built or remodeled in the 21st century. So 70% of our kids will be in modern classrooms. Uh, for people who have been in Nance and looked at some of those classrooms built in the 50, those are big things. Probably the second most important thing is safe rooms, above ground, FEMA rated safe rooms at all three of the elementary sites, which would now be Southwest, Nance, and Washington. Uh, that'd be pre-K through eight. All those kids would have uh, FEMA uh, storm rated facilities. We're really excited about that as well. Uh, the other thing that, that carries through that, that'll make a huge difference for the school in the future is by going from five sites to four sites, the savings in maintenance and operations will allow Clinton Public Schools to continue the movement they have as to being uh, a one-to-one -one school. The technology, the Chromebooks, the iPads, and things like that, we've always offered our students for use. Also, to be able to continue to upgrade our facilities, such as turf, redoing the gym, the, the security facilities we've done at the high school, and et cetera. So those are probably the main s selling points of it. People get into tax dollars sometimes. Most of that is structured to remain the same. There's not meant to be any major changes there. Part of the safe rooms we want to talk about is there, it's a usable space. It's not just a standalone safe room. Uh, I've worked at a district where they're just a standalone safe room. We don't use it at all except for tornado drills. Our safe rooms will be classrooms. So they'll be dual purpose, so we're not wasting space and not wasting um, uh, money. Uh, part of our going from five sites to four would be to get out of the middle school, and we can use that. We can repurpose that building and use it as an enrollment center. Uh, we can house some of our district uh, offices there and obviously still take advantage of the gym space and the auditoriums that, that is there.